Hello everybody, back out Bullion here. So today I have a very special unboxing and review to share with you guys. This is the second iteration of the God series. This is, as you can see, the God Poseidon, and it is an absolute blinder. You guys are in for a treat today in 4K video, as it is a very special proof antique ultra high relief silver coin with some gold gilding on it, and it really does look good. Now, as I said, this is the second coin in the series. The first one was the Ares God of War coin, which did incredibly well and continues to do incredibly well. It took the collectible numismatic community by storm. Very popular coin indeed. Uh, and the premiums on it have grown and grown and grown. Now, I've actually done an unboxing and review of that coin. So if you'd like to go and see that one as well, please do go have a look. The link is down in the description below. Uh, but I also want to talk about it because I have moved that coin on now. I have sold that Ares God of War coin, otherwise I'd have them both out here on the table to share uh, with you guys. Now, whilst I don't live with regrets, I got a very good price for it, don't get me wrong. When you look at the prices which are potentially available right now, I could have got more for it. So it's a very interesting kind of discussion point to talk about what the strategy might be for this coin based on the performance of the first in the series. Uh, but anyway... We'll talk about that as we get through this unboxing. Now, I will just tell you that I bought this from powercoin.it, which is an Italian-based collectible numismatic uh, sort of dealer, I suppose you could call them. They are, in my opinion, the place to go in Europe, if not the whole world, for these type of coins, these collectible numismatic coins. Uh, and they are not sponsoring this video. They are not um, being promoted by me specifically for uh, in return for this coin or in return for any other services. I'm just selling you as a customer of them that I think that they are a very, very good company and I would highly recommend them. I've put a link to their website down in the description below. They've actually sold out of these already now, uh, as have most other places. But if this, this kind of coin floats your boat, then go over and check out PowerCoin because I really do think they uh, do a fantastic job. So, all that said, uh, you know, this is a collectible numismatic coin. It is going to be uh, not everybody's cup of tea. It's going to have uh, some people not like it because of the uh, quite high value of silver, uh, it's sort of value to silver content. It's a two ounce coin that costs quite a lot of money. Uh, so just bear that in mind. Remember it's an art piece. Remember it's a, you know, craft, it's something very special and it's a collectible numismatic rather than a simple piece of investment bullion. Anyway, the review, here we go. Now, it comes in this blue uh, box here, which is the same style blue box as the first one, the Ares God of War. And I remember seeing the Ares God of War box and not being that impressed with it. You know, the sleeve looked a little bit cartoony, not really that great. I have to say, with Poseidon, I guess it makes a little bit more sense with having the kind of wave water effect on there. But at the same time, I've seen so many better presentation boxes uh, and presentation card sleeves out there. So that's a little bit of a letdown for this coin. However, it's not a big one because it really doesn't let down for the rest of the coin itself. Now inside that sleeve, by the way, there's nothing else on the sleeve, no other kind of uh, information about the coin or anything. But inside that sleeve we have a, uh, a sort of, I describe it as basic pine box. Again, I've seen better display boxes out there, uh, but at the end of the day, they make up for it with the coin itself. So here it is. This is the Poseidon uh, coin, it really is an amazing coin indeed, and we're going to have a close look at that in a moment, but as I always do with all of these unboxings and reviews, we're going to have a quick look at the COA first and talk about some of the particulars and the specifications. So this uh, is the second in the series, as you can see, we've got the um, Mint of Poland as the manufacturer, which is uh, not one that you sort of hear very much of, but they do a lot of these kind of collectible numismatic coins. Uh, and as you can see, it is 99 silver, it's two ounces, uh, it's got a mintage of 500, which is one of the really important things that makes this coin very valuable on the secondary market, or could make it even more valuable on the secondary market. And as you can see there, antique finish, selective gilding. Very nice COA actually, I really do like that. I think it's uh, it's very nice. It is just one piece of card, so you have to be very careful with it. I think there are more robust and durable COAs out there, but generally I think this is actually a really attractive looking COA. I love the kind of silver gilded um, or embossed uh, kind of border and the, and the seal there as well. So uh, yeah, very cool indeed. So let's pop that back in there. Now, the moment you've all been waiting for, the actual coin itself, the Poseidon uh, God's coin, really, really love this. Now I'm just going to pop the top of the capsule off because uh, one thing that's really interesting actually, and you may be able to tell, that the capsule is kind of domed a little bit and uh, that kind of gives almost like a lensed effect I guess because when you take the capsule off you can see there's 
there's sort of a little bit of a difference there. If I if I do that angle, you can see it distorts the image a little bit. So that when you're when you're sort of looking at it down at the sides, you can see a little bit more of the detail of the edges of the coin through the capsule. But there we go. There it is out of the capsule. Now then, let's see if we can get this really nicely in focus on this 4K camera. This is one of the reasons I got the 4K camera so that we could have these types of coins in all their glory up here. And there it is. So this is two ounces of antiqued ultra high relief silver. Uh, and this looks amazing. How cool is that? Just look, I mean, you could spend ages looking at every single intricate, tiny little piece of detail. Let's get even closer in here. So there is Poseidon in all his glory. Now, Poseidon, god of the sea, but he's also god of horses as well, if you didn't know that. And there are some horses in the background as well, as well as the stormy seas and a ship in trouble. But Poseidon there looking absolutely menacing and regal, almost with sort of an octopus sea shell uh, kind of loincloth there. Of course, we've got the word gods written there, this part of the God series, and then Poseidon himself, the name of the God down below. Really like the way this coin is framed. I love the sort of energy and passion that's in that image. It just looks like a stormy sea. Poseidon's risen up out of the sea and he's causing all this mayhem, or maybe he's there to save the day, who knows? But boy, does that look good. And you can see the kind of ultra high relief. If you put it down on that kind of profile, it really does leap out of the side of the coin. Absolutely huge, huge high profile on there. Really cool. Now, of course, one of the really interesting um, and sort of high selling points for these coins has been the kind of gold gilding uh, on the Ares God of War coin. It was just on the, I think it was on the Lion of the Shield and the Sword. But here we have it on the entire trident. And I like that that splits the coin almost in two. You really can see all of the kind of detail on it. The gold gilding has really enhanced that sort of that trident and it looks very, very cool. And because it's an antique coin and it's got that kind of blackened antique finish, uh, the gold gilding just makes it leap out the coin. It's the first thing your eye is drawn to, uh, really is. It looks almost like a, a golden lightning bolt thro flowing through the coin. Now I'm hoping that they're going to be doing more of these coins. I'm, I'm pretty sure they will be because these are proving to be incredibly popular. These have all sold out from all of the major dealers that I can see. It seems only the sort of secondary market is uh, available for them now. Um, so they are doing incredibly well and I think that they're going to be bringing out more. And I would hope they're going to be bringing out more. Here's the, uh, the other side of the coin which is the Nui Island, so it's a Nui Island back coin with $2 on there. Not that you'd ever go into any kind of shop and try and pay $2 for something with this coin. Uh, because at the end of the day, it is a very expensive silver coin, and that's uh, always something to factor in when you're looking to purchase these collectible numismatics. Uh, you know, I will always say to everybody who is in this kind of game, and I only dip my toe in it, don't get me wrong, I'm not. this is not my main sort of focus, and I primarily get these because I enjoy them. I really do think that they are works of art. They are special pieces to enjoy and admire. Um, and with that said, you need to obviously be incredibly careful about overspending on coins like this, uh, because whilst there might be some still some growth in premiums on this, if you go up onto the secondary market now and pick these up for the same price that the Aries God of War coin is going on, there's no guarantee that that price will go even higher. But that said, I do think that this particular coin has room to grow. Uh, it uh, has a very, very good bit of history behind it with the Ares God of War coin. Being the second in the series, uh, you know, is always a little bit of a hard act to follow, but I think that this one has been knocked out of the park. The design speaks for itself. Uh, and the series is doing incredibly well as well. And one thing that's very nice to see is the mintage is the same. So sometimes you see when there's a very, very popular coin with um, you know, very, very low mintage that gets a lot of uh, exposure, like for example, the, um, what was it? The um, Rooster, the gold Rwandan Rooster. You then see perhaps the mints upping the mintage in uh, sort of second years. This one has stayed the same, which is why I think it's got equally as much chance to grow uh, and because there's only 500 out there, they are not going to come up on sale very often. So when they do, you're not necessarily going to be competing with a lot of people. Um, but that said, you know, what have I learned from the first coin, the Ares God of War coin? So I did sell that coin on. I passed it over to somebody else on the secondary market. And, uh, you know, I made good money on it. I'm not going to lie. It was a very well-performing coin. But certainly when you look at the prices that come out now, you could have got more for it. And so I think that this one is something that I will hang on to for a little bit longer. Uh, you know, it's something that uh, I think will grow over time. There's obviously quite a few of them out there now for people who are looking to buy them and flip them uh, quite quickly. And that's a 
perfectly valid strategy, don't get me wrong, and it's something that you could cash in on some, you know, some profit right now. Having said that though, I think this has got a lot more potential to grow. It certainly hits my triumvirate of um, you know, looking great aesthetically. You cannot argue this. This is probably one of the best coins that I've seen out there. Uh, you know, second, second to that, you've got um, Mintage, which is 500, absolutely tiny Mintage. And then thirdly, you've got Desirability and Wantability from the market. And I really do think that that has uh, you know, a huge bit because you've got 500 people who have the Aries God of War coin. And theoretically, I have one of these. There's somebody out there who's missing the second in the series, so they will be looking to get it. So there is a market for them, which is obviously really important. So there we go. All in all, I would have to give this a 10 out of 10. I think it is an absolutely fantastic coin. I have to excuse the aeroplane going off in the background. I'll just wait for that to go. But yeah, it is an absolutely awesome coin. 10 out of 10, no doubt. This is uh, a really, really special one. I'd love to know your thoughts on it though. Now do obviously bear in mind that if you are somebody who does not like collectible num numismatics and paying much above spot price for your uh, coins, you're probably not gonna like this. But nevertheless, if you like this coin, if you like the video, if you like the way it looked, if you like the way I've presented the video, I'd appreciate a thumbs up to share this around on your social media as well. That would be very helpful. Uh, and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. Tomorrow we've got a special reveal of something very special as well. And for you hardcore viewers who have stuck around to the end of this particular review, here is the sneak peek number two. I'll just do that very quickly. So there we go. More on that tomorrow. But if you want to find out about that, hit the subscribe button, hit the alarm bell, and you'll get a notification when that video goes live tomorrow. Otherwise, that's all I have to say. Thank you so much for watching, and please make sure that you like, share, comment, and subscribe for more.